There is no other species on the planet that responds as quickly and as dramatically to the good times as the desert locust. Eggs that have remained in the ground for 20 years begin to hatch. The young locusts are known as hoppers, for at this stage they're flightless. They find new feeding grounds by following the smell of sprouting grass. Normally, it takes four weeks for hoppers to become adults. But when the conditions are right, as now, their development switches to the fast track. As the vegetation in one place begins to run out, the winged adults release pheromones, scent messages, which tell others in the group that they must move on. And when groups merge, they form a swarm. locust eats its entire body weight every day and a whole swarm can consume literally hundreds of tons of vegetation. They have to keep on moving. The swarm travels with the wind. It's the most energy-saving way of flying. Following the flow of wind means that they're always heading toward areas of low pressure places where wind meets rain and vegetation starts to grow. As they fly, swarms join up with other swarms to form gigantic plagues several billion strong and as much as 40 miles wide. They will consume every edible thing that lies in their path. This is one of planet Earth's greatest spectacles. It's rarely seen on this scale, and it won't last long. Once the food has gone, the steady roar of a billion beating locust wings will once again be replaced by nothing more than the sound of the desert wind. The locusts are moving for about 150 kilometers, covering 150 kilometers per day. So it means they keep moving from one area to the other. So it's a bit difficult to catch up with them, but we're hoping after this long drive, we'll be able to find some on the, on the ground. Finally, after about five or six hours search, we have arrived here at Dangani in Mukurwane, a village in central Kenya. According to the residents here, during the day they fly around and feed voraciously. But in the evening they cling to trees and just don't move. It is about 6 p.m. right now in the evening. And as you can see at the tree, we're told that they are going to sleep. But we're going to try and shake them. As you can see, they're flying out. There you go, they're really flying out. They were all sleeping, but we're interfering with them. And once they go to sleep at six o'clock, they don't move again until six the next morning, where again they start to look for the next farm to ravage. The people in this village are not scared of the desert lockers. This is Paris Wagari. As you can see, she's carrying a small baby on her back and at the same time holding one, two, three, four four desert locusts in her hand. She's just got a baby on one hand and the locusts on the other. 
She tells me that they hope that soon enough the government will eradicate this locust. With their migrating nature, the locusts are on the move again. And we decide to head to a different part of Kenya. After another long drive, we find the locust. Here, they are everywhere and they are not shy. They have settled dominantly on the farms. <laughs> We also see the residents trying to scare them away. We'll be talking to one of them. Mateo Kizoka. He says his name is Mateo Kizoka. Where are you from? Yeah, I'm from Kizoka. 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 Piga hiyo sauti kujaribu kuonekana kwamba sinaweza ondoka siende lakini nimekataa kabisa. Ah. Mm. So he says they try to make the sound uh, the loud noises while they chase the locusts because they have been told by the experts that the locusts are scared of loud noises. So as they wait for the government to intervene by spraying the pesticides, they're trying to take their own measures. A swarm of locusts can eat food enough to feed 35,000 people in one day or even six elephants. We are in a region where over 11 million people in the three countries are already uh, in uh, acute food insecurity. And at this critical point, the only solution that works is aerial uh, spraying. Tens of thousands of locusts have invaded India's northern and central states. The grasshoppers, now in a gregarious state, are swarming agricultural lands, making pests of themselves in large parts of Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh and Rajasthan. The problem with the locust group is that they eat up the leaves of crops standing in the agricultural fields. It also hurts animals subsequently. That's if they eat the same leaves as the insects and have trouble digesting them. Some areas that have been attacked stretch five kilometres. One district says 60% of the area has been sprayed with pesticides. Locust swarms are not new in East Africa, the Middle East and South Asia, but climate scientists say erratic weather linked to climate change has created ideal conditions for the insects to surge in numbers not seen in a quarter of a century. Here in Kenya, the ability to keep numbers under control is being hampered by coronavirus restrictions. When you want to load a, an aeroplane early in the morning, there is also the restrictions of timing and also locating the swamps because of the curfew. Environmentalists are turning to natural means to fight the locusts, for example, using the leaves and bark of neem trees as a repellent. They're historically known that they will not touch a neem tree. Uh, also, they will uh, be killed very quickly because uh, they will stop eating, they'll stop mating and with locusts the main thing is stopping mating. It's also effective because a rising number of insects are developing resistance to synthetic chemicals. But many nations are struggling in their battle against the locusts. According to the United Nations, millions of livelihoods and lives in the Horn of Africa are at risk because of invasions earlier this year. A similar scene now playing out in India too. Yvonne Yong, ABC News.
لره دا ملخان نه دی دا خو یوار په ژمي راالو هغه یوا چولې اوس دا ملخان برته زیات سو چې موږ سپری وکي او هغه سپری ناکام اسبی موږ یو لیټر په ټارا په اونی سور په راوړي او موږ په وس کې دا نه راځي اول وار غنم ته دا دی تاوان ور رسولې دی چې ما زی معاملې کا در پاتې دی روان دی د درخت له سیبان له او اوس دا غه وار دی بیا د ټماټر دی او ټماټر مونږ دا دونه بوټي بوټي لګولې دا پر دا سر کټ کړی دی بیا پټاټي دی او بیا دا ترنګ بل او دا واشه دی شپېش دی دا ترنګ ټول شانې تباکو ټول سیمه د ملخانو نیول کې د ریاض ګورنمنټ ته مرده خاص کو چې په سجد کې سره د دې د زراعت والا زموږ مرده خاص په سجد کې تور سره د دې مخنی وې چې د اوس په ټوپ کې دی که د ټوپ زبالا اوس بیا زموږ تر کنټرول موږ دا بیا سیلاب دی د دې تر کنټرول موږ تیم ات دیر سپری مشینان غاتو کشنه لرو یو چاینا بلور های افیشنسی سپریر لرو چاگر دیر غات ایلاکا دگه کی او د دروس سلور زر لیتر دوام در لگیای استعمال وی او استاف شدی دمر سر د فیلد استاف ترسال زیاد را سر دی گاری را سر دی دمر سر د کرایه دگاری اوم پروژن است د وسایل دخوام است فلالا کمای نست. که ادو وسایلو کمی نیست تا پاگورن و پاراگونه که چیکم ملخانو پنچانه چه ولی آگاه بذنگه کنترلیش دغدغه داشته دی چون که داد پنجاه سو سکوئر کیلومتر از زیاد ایلاکه ده نو پدیو پسی دغدغه مشینان دا یکی نن نرسیزی خو مرد پر سپارت باندی چه دی چیر راجی مرد روسا پ مقابله اورساله لگیایو